Okay, this is Ethan, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a different game, because, again, my channel has no kind of uh, upload schedule at all, in any way, and I probably never will. Uh, anyway, this game is like, this game is called Planet Base, and uh, it's sort of like Sims in space, so... Uh, and I, again, I've already played this game a little bit, so we'll go ahead and start. First thing you do is pick which planet you want. We're going to go ahead and start with the easy one. And uh, then pick which one you want and land on it. Pretty easy. So... Sometimes you get easy, sometimes you get smooth terrain, sometimes you get rough terrain. So let's see. Looks like we got. Uh, kinda rough. Let's see. Rough, but I can work with it. Alright, so, first thing you gotta do is make your oxygen thing. And I'll go ahead and put that right. Mm, go ahead and put that right there. And then make your door. And you need water to make oxygen, so go ahead and get to work on that. And of course, electricity. Now these are these things here are batteries. What I like to do is I like to start out a little big, because otherwise they only hold about two seconds worth of juice. And I'll relocate these, all of this stuff later on. All right, that looks like all I can do for right now, and you can speed it up. Using, uh, I thought there was a button you could use to speed it up. Hang on. Uh, yeah, keypad. There we go. You can use, speed it up using keypad plus. Alright, next thing you're going to want is food. So we'll go ahead and put that down here. It gives you little helpful little hints down here. Uh, almost forgot. We need a windmill. 
so we can generate power at night. Then after that, go ahead and make a biodome. That's sort of like a, that's where you grow food, plants and whatnot. And then you put your little vending machine things here and you can hold down shift to place more than one. And then tables, that's the power going out by the way. As you put more, as more power is generated and stored it'll become more, I guess regular, it will go out less. I like to keep things symmetrical. Peas, tomatoes, a medicinal plant, and lettuce. Now if you have too much of one food, you, your uh, settlers will actually suffer from malnutrition, so you're going to want to keep a close eye on how much of each different food type you have. I like to write it down, which I would be doing if I actually had a piece of paper. And every time I move, it just records my movement, so I'll start doing that in the next episode, whenever that happens. Which it will, I promise. And then, a dorm. Now the thing about this, go ahead and recycle that. The thing about the dorm is that it's an end part, so you can't add on to it. Now, how many? So we have seven, 
settlers all together. So two four five six eight. All right, now for processing plant. This will allow you to turn ore that you mine out of the ground into usable metal. Metal foundry and bioplastics machine thing, which will turn starch from plants into plastics. And a mine. So, next, well, actually, next you may want a bit more power, so, hmm. Run some of these. out through here I'm gonna try and use this as my power generating area I'm also gonna try and get water from it so I'm gonna replace all of this out here little by little And we'll start if I can. To 
great big solar thingy. Panel. It's a panel. Actually, hang on. Let me put one more pad. One more base pad. Make that a priority. Make this a priority. Uh oh, one of my robots broke down. One thing you do need to know about this game is you cannot interact with the characters directly. You can only uh, sort of set priorities. Oh, I forgot I need a medical thingy. One of my guys has a broken bone. I'll go ahead and put that here. Also may need a control center so I can alert them when bad things are happening. Oh, there went one of my robots. And there went both of them. Oh well, they don't really last all that long anyway. Alright, laying out the land for later on. Also gonna want a lab so that your medic can put together new medical kits and so later on you can grow meat.
and then turn power to that off because it works either way regardless of whether or not you have power you can run into it oddly enough I'm afraid he's going to use that on the lab before they use it on the, on the medical table, which I need more. <laughs> okay, now we can build the lab. Alright, so I want to do something with all this and all this, so I'm going to build a storage area. All right, so we have enough ore. Now we just need metal.
This is where the game starts to slow down, unfortunately. It's not always fast. Alright, we have all the materials, now we just need someone to build it. And I think it's gonna be that guy. Yep. Now, to move all of the power stuff down here. Uh oh. Turn that on for that guy.
Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, cut it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, be sure to check in whenever I feel like playing this again. Remember, I don't have an upload schedule, uh, which is my own fault. But, uh, be sure to like and subscribe and share, and, uh, Click on my face in the top right corner to subscribe. And, uh... Uh... If you want to see a video of me drag racing in bmng.drive, click on the video in the top left. Thanks for watching. See you next time.